So an update from my last video. Once I went on ahead and hooked up my communications, everything seemed like it was working. And then the next day or two at night, one night, it just stopped working like it froze. And then pretty much every time I would reset the stuff and turn my batteries and everything off, turn the grow watt inverters back on, uh, the battery communication at some point would just get stuck and it would start going back up and the grow watt would just show 39%, 30, 40, just different things and wouldn't move up. So for the last couple weeks, I've been working on it, trying to get it fixed and I'm gonna show you everything that happened. And right now it's working. I have to give you an update if anything fails in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the problem I was having. As you can see the inverter showing 39% battery power and the state of charge is 100% on the batteries uh, see my other inverter showing the 57.8 volts and 39 percent and at 58 volts got 39 percent battery power bam so as you can see it was showing that 39 percent and you know the batteries were full it was 100 percent and they were just you know the communication it just wasn't showing and if i would turn everything off and start working again but then it would freeze again so I went over a bunch of troubleshooting with Sixers Solar and Grow Watt, and they checked a bunch of stuff and they wanted me to try to uh, update the firmware. So they sent me all that stuff out. So let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, flashing the firmware to these Grow Watt ES5000s. Basically you gotta have the, the cable that came with your inverter. So USB like A to like a USB like B. Goes into the USB port, this little square port on the bottom of your Grow Watt. Just make sure you know you just have your battery power connected. That's what I have right now. The solar's turned off and it's not really uh, putting any power out. You know, I kind of turned off everything that it's going to. So it's not really putting any power out. Then the programs, you know, from Signature Solar or Grow Watt. Basically, you're gonna have to make sure that you have your drivers installed. I'm just doing this with my phone. So you go to your device manager. Once you plug your cable in and your device manager under ports, you know, it should have this uh, silicon labs. You know, if it's not saying that you you have to, you don't have the driver installed. So you have to install the driver and they'll see the driver. So if you have, you know, the Windows 10 or Windows 7 or whatever you have, just install that driver. Then you start the program, that ISP tool. And right now it's version 4.30. Once you start that, you come over to the COM port has a basically has a drop down box and you pick the com three or whichever com port that your uh cable is connected to then you go on here and you select your your path for your program so i gotta go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and pick this other one this 4-31 so we'll go ahead and pick the one i haven't did yet because i did already do the first one just to make sure this thing was working and make sure it's uh the function is on open and then we're going to hit flash and see right now the grow watt is actually on but you don't really have a load on it so you get out here and hit flash and then it starts let's see so it erases the other firmware then it'll probably start beeping so now this thing is beeping because it's turned off of course so we've got some lights flashing and it's loading the program. So it's got all these numbers and stuff popping up and your little program bar is gonna be going across so you know it's working. I went on ahead and had both of these other grow watts turned off just so it didn't interfere with this one when I'm trying to update the firmware. So we're gonna see if this update actually fixes that problem. So my battery percentage will be right uh, for my battery communication. So I can just look on the app to see what my battery power is. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish this update and see if it works. 99. 100 percent all right then this grow out supposedly will start back by itself let's see what she does here right. looking like i'm probably gonna have to turn it off and clear this fault and hook up the batteries. Oh, actually it's probably set up right now for the batteries and I can't remember if that's what 62 is or not. Hmm. 
All right, so it's got a fault. So I guess I'm gonna turn it off and try to hook the batteries up. See if we get that thing worked out. All right, let's go ahead and turn it off. Then we'll disconnect the computer. Go ahead and just USB-B. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. So, so this is the cord that you that you're using. Kind of a square cord to basically a regular USB-A. All right, the inverter's off. Let's go ahead and hook up our battery communication. Let's go ahead and hook that up. Let's see if this works when I turn it back on. <laughs> right, the second, no faults. Probably got to set everything back up, I'm guessing, since I changed the firmware. I probably have to go through the whole setup process again. Oh, we're about to find out. All right, well, the voltage is right, 240. Let's actually get into the thing. Let's see, solar first. Hey, worried about that charge, EBS. Uh, user two, I'm gonna change that to the battery here in a minute. Just looking at 240 and 60 hertz. So that's good. And 54, 54 float. So let's go ahead and change this. Let's go put it back on lithium to see if it actually works. Then we get lithium for the grow watt. We're gonna have to change this to, to what is it, one, I think. Change that to one, enter. All right, battery showing 84% on the inverter right now. And I'm just kind of going through all the batteries. And of course, some of them's gonna be just a little bit different, but see some of them's 85, so that's pretty close. It's just going through the different addresses. I just put all 16 on there, even though I don't have 16 batteries. I just don't want to have to put all the addresses in separately. See, 86%. So it looks like it's reading about right now. So uh, we'll see in the morning. This thing is still working right. I'm going to go turn my house back on with solar. So the only thing I got running on it right now is this little window uh, inverter AC. You know, see it's only pulling like couple hundred watts probably so 200 watts off this inverter maybe like 100 off of both of them so as of right now after the firmware update it's working but like I said before it worked for a little while then it would stop if it's still working in the morning especially when the Sun comes out and it starts going up starts charging again then I'm gonna say it's good to go so I see you in the morning all right, right before I hooked the computer up, this thing was showing 71% on the inverter like a minute ago uh, on the inverter before I hooked the computer up. Then after I hooked the BMS on the computer up, which I haven't changed anything on the inverter, but I hooked the BMS for the computer up, basically this cable right here and the, and the cable going down there, you know, and then the thing's actually showing, you know, 20% and then this battery that it's hooked up to is 21 put it on all the packs we'll add all the addresses so I, I don't know what's going on with this thing but it wasn't right this morning I can show you on the app because I took a picture of the app and it was showing 71% when I just got out here and now the thing is you know actually showing close to what it is it's 18 for showing 18% uh, battery 8:30 in the morning uh, the sun hadn't really came out yet as you can see you know, it's still a little cloudy outside only 220 uh, watts coming in on this one and probably about the same on this side about 200 on that side coming in but this thing still is not working even with the firmware update let's see what the firmware is showing on here on this inverter after the update all right, I disconnected the BMS cable. Uh, you see, we still it's showing eighteen percent right now. I just disconnected the BMS cable from the computer. I'm just wondering if it's going to go back up to like seventy percent, or if it's going to stay here. The stuff is still not working right. I don't get it. 
uh, even after the firmware update. Right a second it's working, but I don't I don't think it's actually gonna move. I think for some reason, when I hooked this BMS cable up to the PC, somehow it, it got the system working and started showing. I just don't know why, it doesn't make sense. I wish I would have been recording when I hooked that BMS cable up to the PC. So basically ran the batteries all the way down. Now using my charge verter and a little bit of solar we got coming in to try to charge it back up. And maybe to make this battery percentage uh, uh, even out, it looks like it's about right now. So we'll see if it charges up all day. And then the night when it goes down, we'll see in the morning if the thing is working. So basically today what I ended up doing, I ran the batteries all the way down to basically 5% where the, everything kicked off and now I've charged them back. It's charged back to 92%. It's getting towards the end of the day now, so we probably won't finish charging all the way. Let's see, we only got 276 coming in. I don't have anything going out. So basically, I'm gonna turn my, uh, my house back on, the batteries and the solar, and in the morning, see if it still matches up because right now it's matching up with the 92% is what's actually on the batteries and it's been charging all day. And at night times when I've been having a problem, so we're gonna just leave it there with this video and uh, see if this thing works. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna update you again. So after I updated it, the first thing that happened is uh, it seemed like the battery and the, and the inverter matched up for a little while, but then they got really off. They were about 20% off or so. So I basically, I drained the batteries all the way down and I've charged them back up today and they're still charging, but I think they're back up to about 90%. And right now the stuff is matching up. So I'm gonna see in the morning, once some power gets used and it's not being charged at the same time, if that's still gonna match up or if there's gonna be a difference and it's gonna freeze again, not sure, but as of right now, it's working. And if you like this kind of video, I'll be trying to do an update on it if anything happens and it stops working. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and thanks for watching. As you can see the inverter showing 39% battery power and the state of charge is 100% on the batteries. See my other inverter showing the 57.8 volts and 39% and at 58 volts got 39% battery power.